Hello everyone, Joshy Boy here. And in the last video, I talked about using an easy cap to digitize analog video, such as videotapes. But uh, there is a certain cord that I used for the audio, and it is a composite audio to 3.5 millimeter. Uh, cord, which I also use for digitizing analog audio, uh, which is records and cassettes. So, for the example in this video, I'm going to be using this record right here, and uh, and here's how it works. So, obviously, first things first, you have to have a turntable or a tape deck. In the case of a turntable, it has to have the composite audio jacks. So as with the as is the same way with the video, you hook the white in the white and the red in the red. And then here's the other end of it. Right here. So here is my sound card, which is which you also hook to the computer by USB, just like with the Easy Cap. And, uh, so how this works is, of course, you hook the 3.5 millimeter end into the microphone slot, like that. And then, of course, you hook it in the USB part into the computer and open up your audio recording software in my case it's audacity and and then of course you turn your turntable on and then get your record set or get the a tone arm ready if you have one of those that you don't just put down like that. But mine has one of these kick things that you pull it down and they'll slowly uh, put the tone arm down on the record. So, there's that. Now, same for the records goes for the tape decks as well, tape players. And so for this example, I'm using this tape right here. So, same steps apply. Let's just change this out from the turntable and hook it in the tape player. And... And of course, turn it on, put the tape in, and all that stuff. So, just like digitizing analog video, Digitizing analog audio is just easy as that. And that's it for this video. Until next time, Joshy Boy signing off and God bless.